What animal is able to leap three meters in a single bound? Stare directly into the blinding white glare of a snowy tundra. Magically retain precious body heat in even the most frigid of temperatures. And hop away from deadly predators at 60 kilometers an hour. The answer is the incredible Arctic hare. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufo, and you're watching Animal Logic. Today, we're in the polar bear capital of the world, Churchill in northern Manitoba. But instead of focusing on the world's most popular bear, we're going to look for something a little smaller and rounder. I just spotted a hare, so we're gonna try and get a little bit closer, get a good view. Ah. <laughs> the Arctic hare is a species of hare in the Lepus genus, which is made up of hares and jackrabbits. Its scientific name is Lepus arcticus. Lepus is the Latin word for hare, and arcticus refers to its natural habitat. You can find Arctic hares in the tundras, plateaus, and coasts of the Canadian Arctic Islands, northern Canada, Greenland, and as far south as Newfoundland and Labrador. Brrr! If I lived outside in this kind of cold, I'd very quickly become a large, human-shaped ice block. But the Arctic hare has managed to adapt quite nicely. For one thing, they pay very close attention to their weight. Arctic hares pack on the pounds during the summer and end up composed of about 20% body fat. Those love handles are great energy reserves and also serve as insulation during the winter. On average, these guys tend to weigh between 7 and 11 pounds, but particularly large Arctic hares can get up to 17 pounds. If you're thinking, hey, that's really big for a hare, you're right, that's really big for a hare. In fact, the Arctic hare is one of the largest lagomorphs in the world. Lagomorphs are the hares, rabbits, and pikas that belong to the order Lagomorpha. This hare is easily the size of a small dog. It's definitely bigger than my cat. And to be honest, it's bigger than both of my dogs too. <laughs> that isn't the only thing that helps them survive the cold. Their compact bodies have a low surface area to volume ratio that conserves heat. A healthy hair is shaped like an orb. You may not like it, but this is what peak hair performance looks like. It's why their adorable black-tipped ears are so short. Less skin to get cold. They have natural sunglasses in the shape of thick, luscious black lashes that help reduce the glare from sunlight bouncing off the snow. And check out their thick fur. So warm. The color of their fur depends on the weather. In the summer months, hares can be grayish brown. This helps them blend in with rocks and earth. But when cold, snowy weather arrives, the hares turn white to match. It's expert levels of camouflage. Arctic hares that live very, very north may stay white all year long. Wait, where's the hare? Oh, I didn't see you there. If I had a hard time spotting them, it's got to be a challenge for the hare's many predators. The foxes, wolves, big cats, and raptors. The Arctic hare, as well as its fellow cold-weather lepuses, the mountain and snowshoe hares, provide much-needed protein for the ravenous predators of the north. Hey, let go of that mountain hare! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, never mind. It's dead. Definitely dead. That was the scariest tug of war I've seen since Squid Game. With so many predators on their tails, the Arctic hare is super shy. I'd tell them to get out more, but in this case, being an introvert is a necessary survival technique. These hares have incredible vision. With eyes set on the side of their head, they're on constant lookout for threats from all 360 degrees. But hiding isn't their only means of survival. They also have speed on their side. Go, go, go! That was a close one. 
Arctic hares are total speed demons. They can bound like a kangaroo at 45 kilometers an hour, but in case of an emergency, they can turn on the NOS and go 60 kilometers an hour on all fours. The hare uses its long claws on its hind legs to dig into packed ice and snow and leap forward up to three meters at a time. Their long claws also help them dig holes in the snow to keep warm and sleep. Sometimes they'll huddle with other arctic hares for heat, but usually they're found alone. Sleeping, resting, and hiding is a vital part of the hare's survival in the Arctic. They can't afford to waste any unnecessary energy, especially in the winter when food is hard to come by. Though mainly herbivorous, they won't pass up the opportunity to eat meat if given the chance. They have been found eating fish and even caribou carrion. They mostly forage for yummy treats like twigs, bark, moss, grass, leaves, buds, and berries. They get their water by eating snow and chewing ice. Arctic hares mate in April or May. The males may battle over females, with the male literally placing his paws over the female's back and fighting off other males who want her. Eventually, everybody finds their match, and some males will mate with more than one female. All that worry for nothing. The term breeding like rabbits really doesn't apply to the Arctic hare. The resources out here are too few and too precious, so they only have one litter per year. The female hare will make a little nest using a layer of grass and a layer of her own fur for extra warmth. A single litter of two to eight babies will be born anywhere from May to July. Unlike rabbit babies, arctic hare babies, called leverets, are born with fur coats and their eyes open. They can hop within a few minutes of being born. The leverets grow fast, and by the first frost, they're already full size. They'll be able to breed and have babies of their own the following summer. I know it sounds fast, but keep in mind that arctic hares only live about five years in the wild. If you think about it, surviving five years in this kind of cold is nothing short of a miracle. Oh my god, I can't feel my toes. Can we go inside now? So what should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching, see ya! <laughs> it's extremely cold. The air isn't that bad, but the wind out here is really intense. <sighs>